Welcome to today's module. In today's module, we'll be finishing up the book, The Little Red Pen. We'll be reading to find out what happens in the story, The Little Red Pen. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you so that we can review to today's, oh, today's targets together. The first target in today's lesson is, I can identify a character's feelings using evidence from the text and illustrations. The second target is I can identify an event looking closely at the illustrations. So we're going to look closely at the text and the illustrations and read from page 37 to the end of the story. So that is what our goal is today to figure out characters feelings. I'm going to share my screen one more time and this time we are going to go ahead and open up our document camera which will take just a moment. And if you remember right, we left off when, with Chinchita, Chinchita smiling and saying, ha, 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 I can wake him up. So that's where we left off where she was like, ha, 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 I can wake Tankzilla up. And she was being kind of mischievous. So let's see what happens. Whoa, poke, roar. Tankzilla, Pencil shrieked. It's the end of the world. Run, he's after us. I'm running in circles. Where's Tank? Who knows, just keep going. Hey, the wheel is turning. So right here, Tankzilla, Pencil shrieked. How do you think Pencil's feeling if he shrieked. If he shrieked, it means he's scared. He's scared of Tankzilla. Look at those big teeth. Those claws. Arr. Around and around, faster and faster, the wheel turned, the chain moved up, up, up. Up came ruler. Up came eraser. Up came the little red pen. Up came the long lost Mr. Felt Tip marker. So their plan worked. They worked together and they figured out a way to get all those characters out of the pit. It worked, shouted Highlighter, and we did it all by ourselves. Chinchita clapped, bravo. Did we save the world, asked Pencil? The little red pen beamed. You saved us, but ha, but now, now, said Eraser, we have a job to finish. So if Chinchita's clapping, saying bravo, how is she feeling? She's feeling proud. She's feeling happy. And if the little pet red pen is beaming, she's smiling. That means she's also happy. Their job has been, has been, or their plan worked, but now they have a job to finish. Do you remember what that job is? They must go do what? You didn't forget, everyone yelled. Let's get to work. They're gonna have to go grade those papers so the students can learn. And look at how they're working together. Holding up the paper, holding up the paper, holding up the paper. Little red pen and pencil are over there working. Chinchita's even holding up the paper, kind of like Owen's idea. If you're in first or second grade where he put the pin in to hold the chain. And so they did. They checked and staple or stapled, organized and alphabet, alphabetized, piled and filled, piled without another thought of running low, becoming dull, drying up, getting lost, breaking down, or landing in the pit until the job was done. The world was safe and no one hid in the drawer ever again. And why do you think they never had to hide in the door again? The drawer again. Well, it says right here, 
They no longer were worried about running low, becoming dull, drying up. They no longer worried about hiding in the drawer ever again because they were no longer frightened. They were no longer scared. They knew that everyone would help each other to be safe. Except you know who. Who's hiding in the drawer? Looks like he even nibbled something. Tankzilla is hiding in the drawer. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. I really love how all the characters showed initiative throughout it. Well, not throughout it, but eventually collaboration and perseverance. And remember the ringleader, the one that was in charge who never gave up the most was the highlighter. And then everyone based on his good attitude were able to ch change the way that they feel, felt. So I hope you enjoyed that story. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, which is what I tried to do before. And we're gonna come back to our slides. And I've added a couple here, a couple words. If you look up at the smiley face, I added clapped and I added beamed. Remember the little red pen in the story was beaming. She was happy that she was out of the bin and that they were all gonna go do their job. And then also Chinchita clapped bravo which means like hooray. So all of the characters, well, if you look closely, it looks like most of them all have smiles on their faces. This page is gonna be the one that we're gonna look at closely because we're gonna do our writing about it today on the next slide. So if you look at the next slide, on this page, there is a emojis that you need to circle. It says in this part of the text, how is little red pen feeling? Circle that face that shows how she is feeling. If I look closely at the text, it says a little red pen beamed. And she said, you saved us, but now dot, dot, dot. So is she feeling happy? Is she feeling sad, tired, angry, or worried? You're going to pick the correct emoji. And then down below, you're going to circle the word in the sentence that helps you know how she is feeling. The sentence is the little red pen beamed. So think about which word in that sentence shows how she's feeling. Is it the word the little red pen or the word beamed? You circle the word that shows how the little red pen is feeling. And now we go to our last slide. And it says in this part of the text, how are the characters showing collaboration? What work does collaboration help them do? Write on the lines below, use evidence to support your answer. So it says, the beginning sentence is, these characters are showing collaboration. Remember that means working together. And the ending sentence says, this is one way that they get the job done. So how are the characters collaborating on this page? I'm gonna go ahead and read the text to you again on that page, because it's so small on there. It says, it worked, shouted highlighter, and we did it all by ourselves. Chinchita clapped, bravo. Did we save the world, asked Pencil. The little red pen beamed. You saved us, but how? Now, said Eraser, we have a job to finish. You didn't forget, everyone yelled. Let's get to work. So on this page, if we look closely at it, one more time, in this play page, if we look closely at it, We're gonna figure this out, there we go. Nope, thank you for your patience. On this page, if we look closely at it, I'm not sharing my screen. Let me try one more time, la la la. <laughs> oh. If we look closely at it, look at all the characters. Eraser's giving a thumbs up. Pencil's helping out Chinchita. Ruler is carrying red pen. Scissors is carrying a red pen. Highlighter 
is carrying red pen. Mr. Felt Tip Pen is carrying red pen. And Stapler, I'm not sure where his hand, other hand is. No, the paper clips are walking together. How does this page, either the picture or the text, show collaboration? I think it's interesting that a racer never could remember anything. And on this page, he's the one that said, now we have a job to finish. So think about how those characters on this page or even in the whole story, if that makes it easier for you, are showing collaboration. What are they doing to get the job done? You are gonna go ahead and write how the characters are showing collaboration. Remember there was already a beginning sentence done for you and an ending sentence done for you. Your job is to write the middle. If you're in kindergarten, you can record, but as always, please push yourself and try to write a sentence. If you are in first or second grade, you will need to write a sentence. And again, if you wanna push yourself, you can write more than one sentence. I look forward to hearing your responses at our meeting today at 9.45 or at uh, 10 o'clock, depending on what grade you are in. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye guys.